know we love Daniel Fishel as Topanga. Remember the popular 90s sitcom Boy Meets Girl and Disney Girl Meets World? Well, she's taking her experience behind the camera now, directing Disney Channel's new show, Sydney to the Max. Good to see you. Oh, Lady. See you. Thank you. Yeah. Big deal. It's very exciting. It's uh, something I've wanted to do for a while. and. You know, getting someone to take a chance on you when you've been known as one thing as an actor your entire life, getting someone to really kind of take that chance and take you seriously as a director was um, was a big step. And Mark Reisman over at Sydney to the Max did that for me, so it's been it's been great. When you see that old clip of you there, <laughs> what do you remember? Was I think about a young actor actress and thinking, no social media, how great. Absolutely. We yeah. we still laugh about it because we did Boy Meets World for seven years and really the whole time we felt like maybe we were just doing it for our grandparents yeah. like viewing <laughs> yeah. pleasure because we had no idea who was watching and certainly we got recognized occasionally while we were out and about but there was like we had live studio audiences but then we had no way of hearing what they thought about it after. Oh, nice. Which is Natalie. so refreshing. Oh, it is. If we could only live that way now. I know. I miss um, it. Thinking about like all the changes that you have coming your way now. You just got married last <laughs> yeah. fall to adorable Jensen Carp. Yes. Um, and pregnant. Yes, and we're having Yay. a baby. Baby boy. Due in July. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's been uh, pregnancy is a roller coaster <laughs> of emotions. Yeah. It is. How is Lots your hormones? Are you mourning? How were the first three months? I have to. I'm, I'm very careful how I say this. But I've been very lucky. I had Good. zero morning sickness. I did not experience any of that. It was a very smooth pregnancy. I hope it continues that way for the rest of the time. Um, but yeah, yeah, knock I've, on a lot of things. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, what about the clothes? Like, when did you go to maternity wear? Are you even in maternity? I wear? am in maternity wear. I, I have a. I'm working with a company that's fantastic, and they send me stuff. They're carrying maternity, and I love them. So that's been very nice. I went to maternity wear probably around the. I don't know, maybe 17 week mark, 18 week this mark. This is big with this, your first pregnancy. When you finally you so put on maternity that, stuff. You're dying for it. Then when you have it, when you've had your second or your yeah. third, you, don't you want to burn at that maternity <laughs> stuff. You don't even want to, yeah. I just wanted to get into it because I wanted everything, like my normal jeans that weren't going yeah. over my belly. I was like, I don't want this sitting under my belly anymore. I want stuff that comes up very high. So we got to talk about your wedding because yes. we hear that John Mayer was there he as a groomsman. Yeah, he's such a, he's a very good friend to us and he's a fantastic guy and obviously he's very talented and um, you know, we weren't going to ask him to just perform at the wedding like a performer. We yeah. were thinking like if he would be willing to do our first dance song that would be something really meaningful and special to us, then we would ask him to do it and he was more than happy to oblige and it was wonderful and what about his speech at the wedding? Yeah. Because we love his Instagram show. Like he is so <laughs> funny and clever and he really quick. is. Did he give a great toast? I imagine it had to bring you the house down. You know what? Down. We had a no speech policy oh, at our wedding. Ah, uh, I like we that. had a nobody gets to talk. <laughs> <laughs> we we skipped a lot of the traditional stuff. We didn't do a cake cutting. We didn't do a bouquet toss. We didn't do a garter toss. We didn't do mother of the. We didn't do like the dances. Yeah. We didn't do any of that. Uh, we walked ourselves down the aisle. Like we we took a very independent, non-traditional approach to the wedding. I like this. So um, he did get up and say something, and he like sang a little off the cuff. He's like, "Oh, I think I found a way around this. No speeches. <laughs> wow. What if I sing it?" So he said something very sweet, but it was not like you know a planned speech. And and what about? Um, I know that because your husband is executive producer, drop the mic. Haley yes. Baldwin hosts that. Are you all friends with her as well? Yes. yes. Haley Bieber. Haley yes. Bieber. Oh, have yes. you gotten a save the date and the whole thing for her wedding coming up? No, we have not. Perhaps <laughs> we are not invited, but uh, I do adore her. And every time I see her, we talk about wedding stuff and relationship stuff. And she is a gem, honestly. She really seems She's it. great to work with, I'm too. I'm glad so. they're happy. I hope he's all right. Again, yes. I think about young fame and growing up in this with social media. Ugh. They have each other and they're very good to each other. So, you know. And she seems grounded. Yeah. You know, we were talking to her uncle, um, uh, Stephen was Billy. here? Billy was here. Billy. Yeah, yeah Stephen's her dad. Billy was here last week, and he was just saying how calm and grounded she is, she and is. what a great She's girl. She's a rock. Yeah. Um, directing, what's your favorite part about it? I mean, working with the kids. Like, it yeah. really feels like my way of giving back. They're my age. The age they're, they're my age. They're the age <laughs> I was when I was a child actor. And so being able to, like, recognize how important those first people are in your life when you're learning this process. And, um, you know, I also hope that I can kind of be um, an example of that you can come through this industry for a really yeah. long time and still be normal and still work and have... Uh, you know, normal relationships and a good life. And um, so working with them is is my favorite part. What about acting that. for you? Will you go back to it at some point? Or? I mean, I am open to it if it's something that I absolutely love, but I'm so 
passionate and obsessed with directing right now, and there's still so much I have to learn. I'm a new director, and I learn something new every time I direct an episode, and I work with fantastic, I mean, the crews that I get to work with are so great, and they've been doing it for a lot longer than I have, mm -hmm. so I just feel like a sponge. I get to soak, soak up new information every time, and That's so fun. I'm really just kind of enjoying learning that whole process. You pass I love that. Forward. Yes, now we, we got a little, little something gift for you. For, you. Oh, thank for you. little baby. For the baby. Can they open it now? Yes. 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 Okay, great. It's very little. And Daniel's first <laughs> oh directing episode. Gosh, isn't isn't that cute? adorable? <laughs> a it's... City to the Max airs March 8th on Disney Channel. There will be so much spit up on this. <laughs> I know, but they don't last. The white never looks the same.